Welcome back. We are live at Target Field. And we were talking already. There are a ton of Bison fans around here. Kyle said he was recognized on the street. You're seeing, you know, green and gold. We have Allison Vandersteen here with NDSU to talk a little bit about what fans need to know, what you have planned. Um, I know the Alumni Association's putting it on, but can you talk a little bit about the Pep Fest that's happening? Yep, absolutely. We got Pep Fest tonight, so obviously all Bison fans are welcome. Um, it's going to be similar to a Frisco style, but with a little Target Field uh, feel to it, so it'll be a good time. I love that. Yeah. So I think a lot of people are coming just for the Pep Fest, but then a lot some people I, I know are just going to drive up tomorrow for absolutely the game. yep but there's a lot more than even just the gate which is always the case right. <laughs> what do you have planned for fans tomorrow yeah absolutely so obviously in the cities we're a little landlocked so not as much space to tailgate unfortunately but we are opening the gates at 12 o'clock um, Jordan Davis is gonna go live for concerts we'll have a pregame concert um, wow. he's a fabulous country artist we're super excited to have him and very thankful Sunex worked with us on that one um, and then all the target field amenities that are here are amazing so fans are in for a treat if you haven't been here and this is your first game get ready it's going to be good stuff I love that the music going back to pep fest I believe the front fenders are playing tonight at yep. pep fest so that's even better than you know the pep fest in in Frisco yeah. in some ways. yeah but talking about the concert here uh, before the show that's I mean if you have a ticket to come yep you, your you ticket a, includes the concert as well so as soon as you come in you get a concert, you get a football game. What more could you ask for, really? And I believe it's going to be right down here. So. Yep, right in right field. So it'll be a little bit away from the football field, but there's plenty of room. We're over by gate 34, so you can stop by Bat and Barrel and check it out there. Uh, can you talk a little bit in case people haven't been to Target Field in the past? I mean, there's going to be, we're, you're going to be selling stuff, right? The bookstore. I yep, mean, the bookstore raffles. will be here. Absolutely. So we'll have the standard 50-50 split the pot going on. And so... Um, <laughs> few more fans hoping that yeah. jumps up a little bit that could be a nice prize for somebody to take home um yeah the bookstore will be here we'll got some exclusive target field gear that will only be available here and so there's some good opportunities to get a little bit special ndsu talk bison a bit stuff. about that because i mean ndsu people love their gear i saw a beautiful it was like a, a bison colored twins hat online yeah. yesterday so what are some other things you're going to have they're going to be selling yep we'll have some target field specific stuff so the nice game logo that we put together that features butler and ndsu so that's a good option for really any fan that comes in um we'll have the a little bit of crossover with the twins so you might see some twins co bison colored gear so it'll be fun there'll be some good stuff at the bookstore uh, you know what? I actually, we had the bookstore on last week, and I got this bracelet That's awesome. <laughs> from the NDSU bookstore. I, I know, a yellow dress. I, I had to have a little bison yeah, flare on I appreciate here it. It's good well, stuff. So, Green gold. Uh, I am ready. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's go time for, right. for the season. But sure. you're, Chris is right. It's not like you just have your one jersey that you wear. We like to change it up and get something new every single week. I was going to say, you've talked about every week. She's got something new and different absolutely. on. So you have to, you got to get uh, up to fashion status, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, No specific color. I know that's usually a uh, questioned by our fans but of course we always love seeing yellow in the stands because it's nice and full and vibrant but if you want green wear that green too okay love it allison thank you so much You're welcome. for joining us here coming up next uh, we've been talking about it uh, all morning and uh, we got to eat at his restaurant last night <laughs> a fan favorite marcus williams everyone loved him when he played for the bison he went pro and now he's in the restaurant business too we're gonna be talking to him live next stay with us